Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Saturday, February 18th, 2023. Before I get started into the um, main topic of this video, I wanted to remind everybody that tomorrow is the third Sunday of the month, and we'll be having a live stream meditation that begins 10 a.m. Alaska time, 11 a.m. Pacific, 12 Mountain, 1 Central, 2 p.m. Eastern, and across the pond in London, 7 p.m. in the evening. Um, there is a, in the announcement, which is under the community tab, there is, as always, a uh, time and time zone converter. So if those times don't help you figure things out, you can do it exactly using that link for a time zone converter. But I hope to see you there. Um, our topic this month is going to be about joy and laughter because it's a powerful, powerful healer. It's a powerful weapon against evil. And so we're gonna be focusing on the things that bring us joy and laughter. The two aren't mutually exclusive, but sometimes you can just find something to laugh about even when your life doesn't have a lot of joy. And uh, so we're gonna keep those two topics there. And in the meantime, I encourage you to be thinking of a, a good semi-clean one-liner to add to the, uh, to the live stream chat at the end so people can see what makes you smile. And maybe you can share a smile with others. Okay. Well, I was delighted to see today <laughs> to the mystery of the MSM because I don't understand why it's necessary. Mr. T, our 45th president, has announced he is going to go to Ohio and view the devastation and, uh, in my opinion, botched cleanup of the train derailment that happened there a few days ago. Now, the MSM says, why is he doing it? He's not our president. Well, ha, ha, ha. But anyway, <laughs> let's look at a couple of things I found. As always, I will have a link to my Facebook page, and then you can look at the further links that way, okay? And this is by no means all the uh, information that's out there. Some people aren't really good at searching, and some of you naughty, naughty people are just too lazy to do it. So I get you started. I'll give you a kickstart every time or a jump start if I can, okay? Hang on, let's share the screen. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, well, first of all, one of my favorite conservative voices, DC Drano said, some people ask, what does President Trump visiting Ohio actually do to help people? Well, FEMA just announced they're going to start paying funds to the victims after Trump announced his visit. That's power. Yeah, it's funny, they can send over 140 billion to Ukraine that doesn't get to their citizens, but lines pockets. And they were turning down the claims of citizens here and trying to get these same citizens to uh, sign off on a uh, um, <laughs> some forms that would what settle for $1,000 when probably their lives and livelihoods and health is impacted for generations to come. Anyway, here is a westernjournal.com article that, that uh, reinforces that and supports it. And I would like to take a second here and just call your attention to one other thing that does happen to matter about this. Think about this. There, for 17 years, okay, the CDC did not update its uh, toxicological profile on vinyl chloride, okay? The database uh, said that 100 parts per million was harmful. Then all of a sudden, with no change in the chemical composition of vinyl chloride or human anatomy, and funny, just a few weeks before this spill, which was supposedly accidental, yeah, uh-huh, I'll sell you some bridge if you believe that, it's now been updated to 100,000 parts per million. What are the odds? If there's any bright side, to this with the train derailments that are happening and the almost daily um, assaults on our economy, food plants, food production, um, transport systems, what have you. I'm noticing even the most sound asleep people are saying, well, this can't be accidental. It's getting to the point where even they are, they're not willing to accept or publicly accept um, 
alternative and probably more truthful um, conclusions for what's going on there. But these are serving a purpose. Now, the purpose, I'm sure, on the part of the deep state is to cause as much mayhem and loose harvest as they can as they uh, do their retreat. Real, rear guard actions are always messy when you're in a war, and we're in a war. But for those in the light, it does also serve a purpose, okay? It, everything can be used to some extent for good or evil. And the, the bright point for us is that it's gotten so ludicrous, so extreme, that even the deeply asleep are saying, this, this kid, what? This is impossible. And uh, so there's a bright side to it. Now, I would like to ask the cards just to give us insights and information about um, possible best possible outcome of Mr. T's visit to Ohio. And um, if they want to layer in some advice for navigating through that situation for those of us that are either live near or, you know, are concerned about it, that'd be great too. So insights, information, possible advice about the impact of the Mr. T's visit and the situation in general. Let's find out. Okay, let's see what the universe has to tell us about the uh, possible impacts and outcomes of Mr. T's visits, as well as potential advice for those of us uh, who may somehow be in harm's way uh, or just start following this with interest. Oh, the devil situation. Two of Pentacles, 10 of Pentacles. The hanged man, justice, ha ha. Five of swords, keep showing up with these political questions currently, Knight of cups. Okay, well, our question for insights and uh, information about the situation in Palestine and, and the results of Mr. T's visit to same, um, the devil card, indicates the situation in Palestine. It was definitely a deep state plan. Um, I'm getting, let me just give you an overview here and then I'll explain where I'm seeing this in the cards. There's alt media chatter and these cards are supporting it that actually there was more devastation planned than actually what happened. As bad as this is, they had planned it for worse, maybe for this to happen farther down the line, closer to metropolitan areas, et cetera. Um, so they had to settle for about half of the devastation that they had hoped to achieve with that particular calamity, <laughs> one of the daily ones, okay? And uh, the result of Mr. T's visit is going to be a benefit to the citizens there, besides FEMA finally deciding to uh, show up and lend a hand, there's going to be other supports that happen. Um, and then we'll look at some further cards to see if there's advice moving forward, okay? Now, here's why I got that out of these cards. Of course, the devil card, as I was already explaining to you, um, he's indicating the deep state in this situation. He doesn't always have to do that, but he definitely was. He's uh, there, There's tricks and plans and what have you, and he was integral to them. Um, the deep state was. Well, I said they got about half of what they were hoping to get here is this card kind of clarifies that with the two of, this is usually choices, and uh, it wasn't so much a choice as it also can mean, you know, that you got half of what you wanted. So that's why I came up with that. Now, in the recent past, there's been a lot of money that was uh, at stake here with this calamity. I don't know if someone did it uh, for a certain price tag or what have you, um, but they were, even with just the half, they were fairly happy with what happened. Now they're having to look at things in a new way because justice is coming on the scene, okay? Justice is in the form of the, at least the figurehead of that justice is Mr. T in the white hats, okay? And um, when we have the five of swords here, that's usually a strategic win, okay? It means, yes, you've won. You didn't win maybe everything and you're allowing the enemy to retreat, okay? Uh, 
with uh, at least their lives, if not their dignity. So in the face of them having a partial success, they're also happy to accept that they're going to be facing some justice as a result of that. Now, the Knight of Cups is showing up here, a reminder that as always, evil is tricky, okay? They will make false promises, um, whether it's for cleanup or that your water is safe or your air is safe or what have you. They'll make some false promises trying to get what they want, but that's just a, a little advice here for the justice card to be aware of that. And anybody that has been on the side of light for any time at all already knows that. Let's get uh, some looking ahead cards here. Still about this outcome. Some choices are coming up here. Um, sometimes this is my smoke and mirrors card, which kind of where he's gonna make false promises. That could be a, a nod to that, but also it's about choices. And so if you were in harm's way or potentially in harm's way, please be very careful before you sign documents that release others from harm. Okay, make wise choices. Don't let a few dollar signs um, and a quick end of things, even if you're tired of the harassment and fallout and issues, um, keep you from making an unwise decision. Ace of Wands is bolstering that advice here and just saying, yes, we're going to, it is significant that Mr. T has said he will go to that scene, okay? If you believe in the uh, devolution theory, which I was talking about before they even had a name for it, okay? He's, uh, he's always been our commander in chief, always. King of Cups is showing up very much a uh, poker face, okay? And in charge of his emotions, okay? And Mr. T has had to be as he deals with some really astounding truths when he stepped into the position or and agreed to go into it. Um, he's been quoted as saying he had no idea it was as bad as it was, okay? So he's had to perfect his poker face and his persona and what have you. Um, but ultimately, landing on top of the justice card, okay? He's got the winning hand going on here. And our last card is the Two of Cups, signaling an agreement, okay? And I think that agreement can also be considered involving some off-world divine help in this situation. It never hurts, whatever your spiritual lens is, to ask for help in the cleanup and the um, that the best possible outcome will be had and the long-term effects will be nil with this situation, okay? We know there's going to be some, they've lost, they've lost wildlife and poultry and the, the fallout's gone much farther than they ever wanted to admit. So let's recap. There was absolutely no coincidence in the fact that once Mr. T said he was going to go view the devastation and see what was going on, that FEMA jumped in and said, oh, oh by the way, we're gonna start um, sending some support to that area and uh, what have you. It's uh, no coincidence that the CDC changed their um, parts per million for vinyl chloride. This was not an accident. Okay, I, I saw nothing in the cards that indicated that and logic just tells us it's not, it's too, not, there's such a thing as too coincidental. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, similar to something that happened to me, um, I had thyroid cancer in 2007 and after Fukushima, when so much radiation was released and headed into the, uh, into the Pacific and, uh, were in the ring of fire. All of a sudden, they decided to declassify the cancer I had as cancer. And that way it didn't show a jump in rates as we've been dealing with that uh, increased exposure to radiation, which was what caused mine originally. So now whether that happened because I was in the military or just uh, a patient that was put in front of some bad machinery for healthcare, I don't know. But uh, anyway, yeah. 
So it's kind of funny that they do that to try to keep the numbers, you know, playing those statistic games. And that's what they're doing here. So thank you, Mr. T and the White Hats for stepping in and, uh, and starting the process for some justice to occur for the victims of this derailment and to those behind it. And I hope the day comes soon when we find out the details about the justice they faced. But I have no doubt it's coming. That's what the cards say. So, yeah, you play evil games, you have severe consequences. That's the way it goes, right? Well, that's it for this video. I do plan to be back shortly with a second topic. Um, and in the meantime, I invite you again to join the live stream meditation. And I send you love and light. And thank you, as always, for your time that you give me as viewers and your support as subscribers and just people that keep me in their thoughts and prayers. I appreciate it very, very much. Good night.